Welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make your own custom color palettes. This is a very easy and simple one, and I think everyone can design it. So I'm going to import an image into my workspace. Then I go up to File. Then I come to Export, then Save for Web. When I come here, I change this option to PNG 8. Here it is going to try to render my image as simple color table or simple color palette. So I think it is taking time to render. So based on the speed your computer or your laptop has, it will be faster than thought. Then you move to this part. I think most of you have yours on 258, 258 colors. That is what mostly it is rendered in. Then, because you have to reduce the color palette size, normally to 8 or 16, which I normally use, then you, choose, you go on to select 8 color palettes. So by so doing, it changes everything into one color. If you want to see, I want to give you a full preview of the image. You see, it has changed everything into like a monochrome or something. Then here you see it has created a color palette or a color table for you. Then you come here, then you go to save color table. You save this on your desktop, maybe let's say color palette. Then you save. Now to work with the color palette, you then open the new image you want to use the color palette on. Then you go onto your swatches palette. Then you go to replace swatches. Then you go to desktop or wherever you saved your swatches. So I saved mine on the desktop. So color palette then boom then it appears there so that's my color palette for this image so you use it to do anything you want to do if it is text you want to use it for or it is editing you are going to use it for so you have one color palette among the same image then that's what you are going to do thank you for watching Exp